Um, so I have like a sample um, application here or sample screen which I can show here. So what this is like is like a news feed with um, a couple of entries where you have the name, the update, pictures and some metadata about the, the item, right? So what this is what you will get default when you actually run this on your iPhone right, without any design. So the idea is how do we make this look good? So what, what are the steps that we, are we going to take? All right, so first of all, um, let's start with the navigation bar, right? So if you see here, I have my some code commented out here. So I'm going to walk you through every step I do and explain to you what I'm going to do. So in my view controller file, I'm going to take out um, this comment here. So what we're set, what we're actually setting here is uh, is the tint bar tint color for the navigation bar to a blue color, which is the color which I um, set up here, and then some attributes for the nav navigation bar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the foreground white, so any text or any information that shows up on the navigation bar will be white, and the font is gonna be Avenir Heavy, which is actually one of the fonts which come by default on iOS. Right, and the and the size is going to be eighteen. So if I run that, let's see quick changes that we've actually done, we've actually made. So as you can see, we have a nice blue color, which looks a little bit like Twitter, like a Twitter blue color. Um, and then we have the um, navigation bar title in there, which um is now written in Avenir heavy, and we can already see that the app is already having some nice quick changes to it okay so now the next thing I want to do is actually go to each of these cells these are cells in my table view right and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna create that so if I go back to my storyboard here you will basically see how I've created each um, cell prototype cell for the table view so I have two kinds of cells one with a, without an image and one with an image right and then uh, we have the the username there the avatar the update and then some, some metadata at the bottom there right so if I go to my cell that's my custom class for the cell in the awake from nib class I'm going to do some customizations so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name label that's an, that's the name that's the name which I've given to this label down here so I'm going to change the color to the main color which is that one which is that value there. It's also kind of the same blue. It also has the same blue tone from the navigation bar. And then the font is uh, using the bold font name, which in this case is Avenir Heavy, right? So very similar to what we did for the navigation bar. So if I run that, you can see that our name already has um, a new color and then the font actually looks very nice, okay? So then the next step is we're going to change this label here, which is called the updates label, right? So we'll do the same thing. We'll set the color and the font. So the color here is what we're going to use as a neutral color. It's what, we, what I'm calling a neutral color. So what neutral color here is, is a white color, right? So it's, it's kind of a gray, but somewhere in between gray and white, but about 70% white with um, an alpha component of one. And then the font is the same as font name, which is Avenir Book in this case, not Avenir Heavy, right? So that's a bold font name, and that's the normal name for the font. So if I run that, let's see how that looks. So we have a nice, almost transparent looking update, right? And then also written in a font, which is written also in a font that looks very nice. So you can see how we are combining colors and fonts to make your app look nice, right? So we have um, a main color, we have a neutral color, and then um, we have this, so we're using the main color here, blue, all around where we need to have headers, for example. Okay, so then um, the next step now is to is to do the same for this text down here. And it's going to be very simple. So if I um, uncomment that, so you can see here, we're going to do the same thing. Text color and font, text color and font for one, two, three, that's a date, comment, comment label and the like label. And you see that the date has a neutral color, but then the common count label has something which I'm calling the main color light, right? So what is the main color light? The main color light is basically the same main color, which is that blue that we had before, with an alpha component of 70%, right? So if I run that, let's see how that looks. 
So you can see down here, right? So we have um, the time that the update was posted, and then we have the likes, and then the comments, and then that's all getting set up for us, right? And one other thing we can do is um, try and put a border around this picture, right? So then if you if I uncomment that one, so here we have the setting the, the content mode for the image view. We can leave that as it is. Give it a corner radius of two degrees, right? And then um, in these three lines, we're, 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 is where we're going to set the border color, the width of the border, and then the radius of that, right? So if I start that here again, and then we run it. So you see we have a nice picture frame type border around the picture. And as you can see, our app is already looking definitely beautiful, definitely better compared to what we had before, right? And then one last thing which we can also do is um we have the avatar here. We can quickly make a nice corner radius around that just to make it also look um, a little bit less harsh on the on the on the ends. So we have the um, the corner radius here, setting that to seven, and then we're clipping the the view to its bounds. So you see, so we have a very nice, beautiful picture in there for each of the avatars, right? So. I hope with this video, right, you can actually see how we be, we're able to combine colors and color radiuses to make a really, really nice looking app, right? And the good thing about this is because you know how this works already, you can already um, tweak things, right? And then um, change the colors and then just by co changing colors and fonts, you're already setting up your app for a unique look and feel. So if I actually go in here and I copy this, let me actually set up a new look and feel for this now. So I'm going to comment that out. And paste that. So what I've just done here is I've changed the main color to a different color. It's going to be about a, a reddish tone now. The main color light is going to be the same, just with a 70% alpha component. And my fonts are now different using Euphemia UCAS and Euphemia UCAS Bold. Right? And then if I go to my view control and I do the same thing. So we have the same red color in here and then a new a new font for our title. So if I run that through now, so you see we have actually a new app with a new color and some new fonts and then we already have um, a quick change just by changing what for five seven lines of code, right? And then if imagine if you could um, extract this into a global theme theming function, right? Which we have in most of our templates. Um, then you can actually have a big switch between um, look and feels for your application. 